Hello! So every month I get the Deborah's bead box um, and for February I have got my bead box and I'm going to show you through it and then we're gonna make a couple of polymer clay charms with the beads and the attachments that come in the box. So I'm gonna keep this super snappy for you and go straight into what's in the box this month. All right, all right, here is our bead box for the month. Super, super cute. I've just uh, blocked my dress there for you guys. Um, so we have a nice little bit of tissue paper which covers what's gonna be inside. So let's remove that. So you get a bunch of beads, attachments, and a couple of pendants within this box. So let's start with my favorite thing that I've just seen. Look at this pink, like crackly effect bead. How stunning are these? Honestly, when I saw these, I was like, uh, yes. So let's put this over here. Um, and then I'm just gonna move everything to the side so that we can keep everything in shot. So next up is these sort of heart beads. Um, and then there's some like earring attachments here. I really like these heart beads. I think they're super cute. Great for Valentine's Day. And then we've got these sparkly ones. I don't know bead names, so excuse me for that. But here are the sparkly ones. Very nice colour as well. I also quite like the colour on these ones, but a few of them are quite dull and it looks a bit weird, like that one there. I'm not sure about, but the clear ones are super, super cute. I like these. Then we've got this sort of hoop, which I think you put like beads inside it and it's like a bead ring thing um super interesting haven't used one of those before then these lovely blue little iridescenty ones or maybe purple oh, i don't know then we've got loads of tiny little blue and purple ones these are so cute um these will pair nicely with a lot of things then we've got this sort of muted matte slightly pink set of beads they're cute something to make uh, bracelets with here sort of a rubbery string a bit elastic as well then we've got this purple little heart thing I'm not a fan of this but I'll use it then we have a little bit of wire a couple of earring attachments and some clips and stuff like that. We've got this little pendant, which I have literally no idea what I'm going to do with. And then finally, we have this sort of chain uh, to make either a bracelet or a necklace. I'm not a big fan of this copper colour, but we'll see what we can do with this. So I'm going to use my sketchbook to figure out some designs that I want to do um, with these beads. I think the biggest ones I want to use are these two and maybe the hearts. I want to put something in here. I think that'll be really fun. Something you can like spin. Okay. Well, let's see. So this is going to be Very poorly drawn circle. Oh, see, can I make something in clay small enough? Yes, probably. Like a little dango with. Maybe we can have a cat on it. Oh, that sounds so cute. Can I make a cat that small? I'm sure I can. And then maybe we have this at the bottom and maybe one of the hearts at the top. Oh, this could go really nicely. And then with like, um, blue eyes this is not blue but 
Let's have my blue eyes. A little cat. I think whites and stuff are the best thing here. I'm not very good with coming up with the designs. I think these two work. You know, not every day is a day where you have great ideas, so. It's really annoying when I have literally no ideas. Like, oh, my creative juices are not flowing today. But I like the two ideas that we've got. I think they'll be really cool. The biggest thing is going to be making something small enough to go in here and spin. Um, but I think we can do it. I think that's fine. And then, because these are, I mean, they're small, but they're quite big. I can make a decent sized cat for these. Once we have the clay done, then we can mess around with the beads and see what works. So I've tested these now, they're out of the oven. This one is looking good. They look a little bit toasted. I don't know what happened at the back here, so I'm gonna clean that up. Um, and then we've got a very horribly lit, but I've tested this one in here, and it all fits. Very cute. Um, I think I'm gonna add some beads to keep it sort of central. I might also add a bit of white paint but I'm not sure yet. So now I'm going to glaze them um, with some UV resin and we'll see how they turn out and then we can add some beads to them. It's very sunny. So these are the final two, the little cat so cute and then the little white cat which i do quite like so let's get them prepared i think for this one we need maybe one of each of these because if i slot it through now it will just fall down uh, actually let's have a look yeah it'll just Four. There we go. Oh, lovely. Look at that. Cute. Okay, so next we need to cut this off and get the looping tool. So I want two loops. that right so what are we going to put on this i think it's quite extravagant as is and i don't know if i want the hearts oh my gosh 
yes i want the hearts either side of this oh that's gonna be so cute so i think i'll do one of these at the bottom here or oh, one of these one of these with one of these I like that. So that dangles off there really nicely. And then I don't want to put a pink one on there. I think it won't suit. I think for this one I want to keep it all sort of silvery. I'm going to use these, these, and these with the heart. It's so cute. Oh, I really like that one. I love this one. This one I'm not too crazy about. I like the beads. Um, I don't like the charm. And I just don't like this. It's too um, dark and moody. This is so cute. Look at that. It's so pretty. And this one is still cute. But not as cute as I'd like it but it does spin which is great so that was my little bead charms with the Deborah's bead box for January um this one does I'll show you it spins very cute but yeah these would go perfect on someone's keys or bag or as a little accessory i honestly i think this is my favorite one um so yeah i'm gonna put these up on my shop if anyone does want them and yeah i'll see you for the march bead box which will be my birth month so i'm very excited to see what we've got in store there thank you